friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. So I wanted to share with you today this super cute light switch plate I made. I really like this a lot. So I got this mold. I also have a double one. I picked them up at Glitter Chimp for $9.95. Now, one of the things you can see now, it's actually a lot more visible on video than it is in person, but you can see that um, you like on my light switch back behind there, it's hollow and then there's some wires in there. So you can see that the hollow is dark looking back there. So I would suggest you know, I went, you know, sort of light with my glitter. I would suggest either, you know, using some vinyl in there or just going really, really heavy with your glitter so that you don't have that in there. But otherwise, I mean, this is really cute. And honestly, it's not as noticeable in person as it is on the video. I think the video just really you know, kind of shows. And I love this. I think this is such a cute addition to my room and it fits really well. It's a little bit smaller than the original plate. You can see the original plate would go, um, you know, sort of fits over it more, but it is really, really cute. So anyways, I hope you like it. I've attached the video. And if you like it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. I'll see you later, friends. Bye. All right, friends. So I am going to make this mold for the light switch cover for my room and see how it turns out. So I'm going to use French Kiss from Glitter Chimp because, of course, this is my favorite. And I am going to be using my Pro Marine Epoxy two parts. And let's see. I don't, I'm thinking I don't want to go completely to the top right, maybe at the very edge there. We'll see how it turns out. So I always know this is my part A because I cut it so it comes out a little easier because it's really, really thick. And if I have to make some more, I will. The one thing I've learned doing my epoxy outside is that my porch is not even it kind of slants down oh look at that that was pretty perfect all right so i'm gonna mix this together and stir it for four minutes so i'm gonna put you on fast mode all right Right, so this is filled so that was pretty good it was about let's see probably 30 mils total to fill this and that worked out pretty good I'm gonna just spray it with a little alcohol now when you do this remember it has to be a high concentrate alcohol in the 90s at least 92 percent okay and i use denatured alcohol so it's high concentration alcohol now i'm going to put this over on my other table and let it sit and we'll come back when it's all done my other table is even scott has that evened for me so that way this will sit on a nice even surface all right i'll see you in a bit